welcome back to Two Man Meta. I am Mondo Spanner, and uh, we are doing another Foundations pre-release. Uh, if you like my videos and you'd like to see more, please like and subscribe this one. Do it. Who says I'm passive aggressive? Shut up. <laughs> right. What would we get? Oh no, come on now. 13. Oof. Unlucky for some, unlucky for me. Right, there we go. There's the pre-release thingamy jigger. What's it called? It's not a topper, is it? But whatever. So I hope you're all having a good day. I am enjoying opening this pack and remembering that I have to tell you to like and subscribe. Although, am I really enjoying that? Right, okay. Uh, Dreadwing Scavenger. Spectral Staler. This card is awesome. So, this was so clutch last night when I was playing. Um, a one drop instant that gives you a plus one, plus one counter and gives that creature hexproof to end a turn. It's really, really helpful. Um, Authority of the Consoles. Oh, cool. I've not seen this card. Oh, yes, I have. I had it played against me yesterday. Sound. <laughs> Time stop. Oh, that could be in oh, that could be really useful, actually. Okay, cool. And a quick draw. Um, katana. Uh, yeah, that's a common. And then a land and a gobbo zombie token. So, um, this is, yeah, this is the third one of these that I've opened. Managed to get a Liliana in my last one, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, Mo Commons, Mo Commons. Oh, the old Vengeful Blood Witch. Let's see how many Mythics we get in this one, actually, because we've only got one Mythic out of the Play Boosters in the last one. So we want, like, a, see if we can get a Mythic out of that or multiple, myth, multiple Mythics out of this. Vengeful Blood Witch, Shivan Dragon, Adventure Gear. That seems interesting. Stormkirk Blood Thief, not seeing you. And then we've got Lathril, Blade of the Elves. Cool. Okay. Okay, that seems pretty good. Uh, up there. Uh, involuntary Employment, Mountain, and a Food Treasure Token. So that guy, tap 10 untapped elves you control. Each opponent loses 10 life and you gain 10 life. I feel like that could be built around... Also, as well, is that, that I'm sure I've seen that ability before. So, is that a reprint? I'm not too sure. I'm not too uh, good on my, uh, on my total knowledge of magic cards. Right, overrun, joust through, fiendish panda. What? Uh, Hidget, Hidetsugu's, Hidetsugu's second right. That's pretty cool. Tiny bones again. This feels like the uh, rare that I'm. Destined to pull. I think this is my third Tiny Bones now. And then we've got Kiora. Outstanding. She's not for crows. Just for me and my dog. And then we've got Rugged Highlands. And we've got an art card. Okay, there we go. I've tossed away an art card at last. I only have to go around and collect them all in for my daughter anyway afterwards. But not to worry, right, uh, yeah, commons, oh, pilfer, this card's pretty fair, foul, target opponent reveals their hand, you choose a non-land card from it, that player discards that card, sad face, had that played against me yesterday, uh, skyship buccaneer, hero's downfall, micromancer, nice, that's very nice, this mythic is busted, Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, put a loyalty counter on Kato. And then whose plus one is up to one tar target creature you control can't be blocked this turn, draw a card, then discard a card. His minus two is create a 2-1 blue ninja creature. And his minus nine is you get an emblem with whenever a player casts a spell, you create a 2-1 blue ninja creature. Seems pretty strong. Luminous Rebuke. And a very nice swap, actually. I quite like that swap. Okay, so look, there's one Mythic. <coughs> now, I don't know if you've all noticed, but there's always one Wappy play booster, um, play booster in a Play Booster box. So, will this be the pre-release kit where we get the Wappy Booster? Because if we do, then that's going to be pretty dope. Uh, Slumbering Cerberus, Mild-Mannered Librarian, 
Resolute Reinforcements, Garrix Uprising, Lunar Insight, haven't we just done, oh no, that might, might have been in the last one, a Self Reflection, Tranquil Cove, and a Rabbit Soldier token, I do like this, I think this picture is really great, I do like that token, very nice, right moving on, last pack, can we get some Mythic Magic, try saying that fast lots of times, another picture, that's that axe, isn't it? Uh, Leyline axe, I think. Okay, so last pack. Commons is done. The old fishing pole. Empyrean eagle. It doesn't look like there's anything wild in the back of this. Cephalid ink mage. Bolt wave. Cool card. <laughs> Kellen again. It's my third Kellen out of two pre-release kits. Blinding. And a divine resilience. Very cool. That's actually a really nice picture. And foil, that looks great. Okay, put that there, put that there. Right, let's see what we get on this bad boy. Uh, arena card is going to my friends, because I've got friends. He says I haven't. Okay, that was the cats, not some random rattlesnake or something. Oh, you know, hissing snake or something. Right, okay, so uh, shall we see what we get? Uh, blah, blah, what is it? <laughs> that dude again, but with a... Uh, so Lathril, Blade of Elves. So not quite as good. Um, okay, right, I don't mind these pre-release kits. I think they're pretty good opening experience. I think if you can manage to get them for 25 quid, which is what I managed to get these ones for, then they are definitely worth it. Um, however, as ever... They ain't no Thunder Junction today. You know what I mean? It's a bit of a problem. But anyways, uh, I hope you enjoy your pre-release events. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this episode of Two Man Matter, don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date with the videos every week. And check the link in the description below for links to our social media and for ways to help support the channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next episode.